traders from around the world. What's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another free Wednesday stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely stupendously fantastic. Now, guys, before I get stuck into the stock review, I just want to make a mention that the free week has started already. We started on Monday. If you haven't yet registered, sign up. It is a massive jam-packed event. Hop on over to reallifetrading.com.au. I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, click on this free week link. Get yourself registered registered and RSVP for the event. It's entirely free. Um, I will be going through in-depth stock analysis and going through a whole bunch of stocks for you guys and strategies that you've probably never heard of. Um, so you definitely want to uh, you definitely want to sign up and and not miss any of the events because I'll be talking about different strategies and different topics each and every single day. So make sure you guys be there or be a triangle. But let's talk about the broader markets, guys, the SPY. Now, back on this day, guys, I mentioned the stock was going to go, uh, the, the overall markets was actually going to go higher and then come back down, possibly uh, back down to the 20 EMA and then slowly start to bounce. I mentioned we we will wait and see what happens with the price action at this particular level um, just because we didn't get the great volume coming in as we broke out to go higher. So what I do believe is going to happen, guys, I do expect the market to bull back. Um, the SPY most likely going to come back down to the 50 EMA. Makes tons of sense. Hopefully, we do start to find some support at that particular level. The longer term moving averages, hopefully that will consign... Uh, coincide with the 100 simple moving average. Um, but right now, guys, very, very neutral on the markets. Not bullish nor bearish. I'm completely thinking the market's going to just consolidate at this particular moment in time. And I, do, I, w I will be talking about a whole bunch of strategies uh, this week and next week uh, about stocks that are going completely sideways and how you can profit from them. So make sure you guys do come to the free week. Here's the E-minis. Now, the E-minis not showing that much uh, bullish strength. As, as I mentioned, we are probably going to head a little bit lower. We are getting a very strong price rejection uh, right here at around the 39.40 mark. You guys can see this here. After this really bearish day that we had uh, on the 18th of March, boop, right here, uh, I mentioned to you guys that this is a very bearish candle and I expect us to trade higher and then pull back. Uh, if you do take a look at the 30-minute chart, uh, the 30 minute chart, what you'll see here, you'll be able to see the, the price rejection a lot clearer. Um, here it is right here. We had the nice little breakdown below these lows um, and then we traded a little bit lower. There's the push higher and then there is the roll over. So we are creating lower highs and lower lows. I do expect us to continue on the E-minis uh, going a little bit lower and possibly a pullback uh, back down to the lows here uh, in around 37, around 37, 3800-ish. Here's Square, ticket symbol SQ. Now, SQ really not looking bullish at all. We are currently at the 100 simple moving average. We have bounced off this location before, um, but we did try to trade higher. But as you can notice, the volume actually decreased as we went higher. So not overly bullish right now. Expect the market to pull back a little bit a little bit further. If you are looking at buying shares of Square, um, I think you could possibly wait to get to pick some up somewhere down around the 200 simple moving average. Or if you are a naked put fan, you can look to sell puts, um, you know, somewhere down here at a price that, at which you are willing to purchase those shares. Um, so make sure you guys know and understand that particular strategy. But Square, not looking overly bullish. Volume is dying off, and uh, I expect us to trade a little bit higher, and then probably have a little bit of a drop city on square and tesla also not looking very very bullish at all we're currently at the 100 simple volume also dying off um, i did mention back here on this day that expect to pull back down to the 200 simple moving average and you guys can really see the price action here that's going on we're not getting a strong close around this 700 dollar level so expect us expect a little bit of sideways action and or a push lower now, I did send out a weekly options newsletter. If you are a part of the free week or a part of real life trading, you would have got my weekly options newsletter play, which was a bearish play uh, this week, actually. Um, and I was mentioning that 
Uh, American Airlines, we were going to play this one with put options to make money as the stock goes down. That's right. We do not have to make money all the time when the markets are going higher. We can also profit when the stocks are dropping, which is exactly what we were trying to do here. However, we did get a very small gap and uh, the high, uh, sorry, the low of the put option uh, the bought put option here was actually $1.64 and uh, we had a limit to buy at one fifty. So we did get skipped on this trade. Um, however, the analysis was absolutely uh, perfect and I do expect this to pull back probably to around the $21 level on American Airlines. So make sure you guys, uh, if you are looking at American Airlines, wait for the pullback to occur. Don't be looking to get in just yet. Wait, uh, don't don't try to catch a falling knife, so to speak. Let it consolidate and then look to buy the dip on AAL. Here's ASX 200. ASX 200 is not looking bullish at all. We are still consolidating sideways. I still expect us to pull back probably to the 100 simple. Nothing to see here, guys. This has been absolutely boring to say the least. Um, if you are trading the ASX 200, it's going very, very sideways. Um, so there's no real trade on the ASX. Just be looking to be fairly neutral on the markets at this point in time. There's a lot of volatility out there. Here's IOU Limited. Uh, now, IOU Limited has actually filled the gap that we had back here. We had this nice little retest gap back here. Boop. Now, I do expect um, this retest gap to fill as well. Not all gaps have to fill, guys. Just remember that. Um, but this particular pattern that we are forming right now is known as a descending triangle, which is a bearish pattern. So once this level does get broken, um, there's pretty much no resistance in the way or support all the way back down to the 100 simple moving average. So just for those investors on looking at IOU as a, you know, as a bullish play, I think you have a little bit more time. Wait for it to pull back down to the 100-ish. And then uh, hopefully we can get a little bit more volume coming into the trade and then find some more support down lower. Here's oil search, ticket symbol OSH. Now OSH obviously starting to pull back with crude oil pulling back as well. We had a nice little evening star reversal pattern right here. Nice little uh, double top, lower high. And uh, sorry, double top, lower high. And a break down and retest of the neckline before we head lower. I do expect this to come back down to the 100 simple moving average at 392, trying to hold support um, at this level. I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I do expect this to pull back that little bit further. So OSH, I think the trend is slowly coming to an end, um, so to speak, and I do expect us to come down uh, back down to the 100 simple. And here's crude. Speaking of, uh, here's here's a nice breakdown. We came back down to this support level and it got broken like a beast. Uh, this absolutely just crushed lower. So right now we are currently retesting. If we take a look at the 30 minute and what is going on right now, here's the breakdown. Look at all this support, all these buyers coming in. We came up, traded higher, broke down that little bit lower and then boom, we dropped lower here. Closed lower than the previous support, retested as a resistance level, and now we are breaking down that little bit lower again. So we are starting to pick up a little bit of volume right now, um, but this level here, now that we have broken it, it will most likely become a, a pre. A, a, it will most likely become a resistance level, and then uh, look to find some rejection at that point. If you are trading futures, um, I'd be more so looking on a bearish play up here rather than a bullish play. Um, but make sure you guys do mitigate your risk. Crude oil, uh, gold, sorry, gold next on the list, and gold still consolidating sideways. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are still at the 100 simple, really taking its sweet, sweet time right now. Um, I do expect this to eventually bounce. It just has not bounced yet. Volume still very, very little, and uh, I expect us to pull back down to these lows, probably back down to around the you know 36.80 mark, 36.88 at this particular point. And last but not least, the Aussie dollar. I did mention this was going to come back down to 75-ish uh, and then range probably between 75 and 80 over the next few months. And as you can see here, guys, we are at the 100 simple moving average. Volume has not been great at all. And uh, I expect us, if we do not bounce here, uh, we could have a little bit more of a bearish move, possibly even down to 73 if we do not start to find some sort of support around 75.50. Um, this is the next level of support, although there's only one touch here, uh, I'll just wait and see how the price action 
uh, how the price action is showing on the Aussie dollar. All right, guys, that's me. I'll be back on Friday with another free real-life stock review. If you guys do have any requests, put it in the comment section below. I'd love to review those stocks for you. And once again, if you have not yet joined, hop on over to reallifetrading.com.au forward slash free week. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. Sign up. It's entirely free. No obligation at all. No credit cards. It's just a whole bunch of analysis and a whole bunch of fun. Can't wait to see you guys there. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. You guys rock. Bye.